good evening y'all we are headed to Saki Hibachi this is one of the best hibachi spots in Dallas in my opinion um I feel like Benny Hunters is overrated had it a few times at this point and I'm not you know impressed or whatever but this spot the flavor is really good they got some really good sauces to go on all the food and all of that so if you are ever in Dallas well Mansfield you need to check it out it's called Saki Hibachi I believe sushi and bar but yeah I'm gonna take y'all in there with me so I'm gonna let y'all see Hey y'all, we are now headed home. Saki was good as always. What y'all think? What y'all? As always, like I said, and I'm standing on what I said. <laughs> Benny Hunter is overrated. Right. And if you go to Saki um, in Mansfield, make sure, you know, with whatever you get, make sure you get extra garlic butter because it just gives it that, you know, extra oomph or whatever. But yeah, it was good. Everything was good. I got steak, chicken, had a couple little shrimps on the side, of course, fried rice, a bunch of veggies and all of that. They started us off with the soup and the salad. What did you have? What was it called? The ninja. Chris got the ninja. So anybody who want to try that, look on the menu. There you go. And Madison, she kept it basic. You know, chicken nuggets and fries. <laughs> but she did try shrimp tonight, and she actually liked it. So, you know, that's something First else time. we can add to her um, palate going forward. So, yeah, we're about to go home and chill for the rest of the night. Because it's, what, 11? Is that the real time? Yeah. Ooh, chat, it's 1126. We out here late. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we about to uh I mean it's late for us as far as dinner later than oh, sure. what we normally eat. But yeah, alright y'all. I will holler at y'all once we get to the house so I can show y'all my little old fit because I ain't have a chance to show y'all before we left the house. We reached the ceiling. I had a feeling yes, from the beginning. Hey, I wanted to come show y'all what I wore tonight. I went ahead and wore my not so basic skirt set that I sell um, on my website. And then I threw on this Kelly Green sweater because it was a little bit chilly outside with this tricky Texas weather. And then I threw on my neon black heels from Amazon. They are linked. Let me step up. They are linked in my um, Amazon storefront. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sweater off so y'all can see the uh, skirt set without the sweater on. Because I literally just brought the sweater so that I wouldn't be freezing inside the restaurant or outside. So hold on real quick. All right, y'all. Here is the not so basic set without the sweater on top of it. So it's a two piece set. I usually, um, when it's warmer outside, I usually wear the top, cause it's already a crop top, but the uh, skirt is high waisted, but I usually like crop the uh, top even more. I usually tie it up, put a little knot, and then show a little stomach, but you know, since it was chilly, I did not do that tonight. But this is the fit of it. That's what it feel like. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I came and showed y'all the uh, outfit. I'm about to get comfortable and chill with Chris and Madison in the living room. 
this will conclude tonight's bloggy vlog um and i will be hollering at y'all either tomorrow or on the next vlog i'm actually about to finish editing um the next vlog i'm gonna do a weekly vlog so um it's gonna be a while that i'm gonna be up tonight um editing so i plan to have that up either later tonight or tomorrow morning and it'll include probably about four to five days worth of vlogging so stay tuned for that y'all have a good night good evening y'all um i'm about to take the most relaxing bubble bath known to man or woman um i'm going to be using my kiss my face products today this is not sponsored however they did send me these products for a campaign a couple months back and i still use them so i figured i'd put y'all on again the brand is called kiss my face and they have a ashwagandha like line it's not an ashwagandha line but they have a line for like the shirt thing or whatever and most of it has ashwagandha in it so i figured i would use all of these today for my bubble bath so first we're gonna start out with the de-stress two-in-one body wash and bath soak and it has actual uh ashwagandha hemp seed oil um and it's vegan and cruelty free so i'm gonna share that with y'all i don't even know if they're on amazon but i'm gonna still share it with y'all and if they're not on amazon i'll at least plug the website for y'all and then they got their hand and body lotion it has ashwagandha in it too and then they have their body butter. It has ashwagandha in it too. And of course, a bunch of other like natural ingredients and stuff like that. But yeah, it has vitamin E and uh, other rich botanicals. So vegan and cruelty free. I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to uh, light my candles. And then I got my AirPods because I'm probably going to tune into some vlogs. I got my phone charged on the extension cord. Um, I'm going to light those candles. I'm going to get the bath water running. And then I'm also going to take my ashwagandha. I've been taking it for like maybe a week and a half, two weeks. And I will say that I be very relax when i take it i only take one the recommended dose on the back of the bottle says two but two is gonna be three thousand milligrams i think that's a bit much for me i'm jumping off the porch taking it i'm like yeah that's a bit much but i will say this the one pill you know obviously the 1500 um milligrams it's enough for me anyway i don't know about y'all maybe i need a little more i don't be need too much but when i take it I'm very relaxed, I'm chill, and you can go to sleep very easy. Like it puts you in such a relaxed state. If you get up under your covers, up under your blanket, lounging on the couch or whatever, you're gonna go to sleep most likely, unless you just got like a very high tolerance or something, but you're gonna go to sleep or you're just going to go to sleep more easily. I will say that. So I'm about to get it going. Um, I'm gonna go grab my ashwagandha and some water so I can take that and then I'm going to go ahead and rub. Um, I I'm going to go ahead and run my bath water. And just a recap of today, um, I haven't done a whole, whole lot. I've been outside with Madison and her friends, um, just overseeing them outside um, while they was out there playing and stuff. And I was uploading my vlog and editing and doing all that, basically putting all the final touches on the vlog that went up today, a weekly vlog that went up today. This is my first weekly vlog that I did and it was cool it was a lot it took a while for that file to finally get uploaded but it was cool I like it in its entirety but like doing it I definitely am going to start doing it to where I'm working on it day by day versus me recording all the content and then both of uh, bundling it all together in the weekend and then like editing editing adding music finding this it, it was a lot and then my laptop was acting like it wanted to play games too. So that didn't help. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, but I think I will continue to do some weekly vlogs because it was cool. After it was all said and done, I liked it. It gave me more content to work with for my thumbnail and stuff too. So yeah, so stay tuned and I will um, show y'all how I'm about to set the tone for this bubble bath. All right, y'all, I came back with the ashwagandha. Let me see if it'll focus 
The brand is Future Biotics, and like I said, this is 3,000 milligrams. It's the extra strength. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description box down below. Like I said, I'm not taking two. I feel like two will be too much, and I'm going to be too relaxed. Like, I want to be relaxed, but I need to still, you know, be up moving around. The night is not over. So I'm going to take my one. Got my spring water. I'm going to cut it. Um, so that's that. So like I said, stay tuned that I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I set the tone for my bath. Um, and yeah, so this is just going to be a very chill, relaxing, I guess you could say self-care Sunday because the work is pretty much done for the day. I'm going to start prepping some things in my planner to prepare for the rest of the week. But as far as Sunday, I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing any more editing. I'm not doing anything else um business related like at all i'm about to chill take this bath kick my feet up watch some vlogs be normal <laughs> but yeah so i think that about covers it um and then later on tonight i'm gonna excuse me later on tonight i'm gonna pop back in and i'm gonna show y'all my full detailed specific nighttime face routine like i've done skincare with y'all in the other vlogs but it's like my quick skincare routine i'm gonna show y'all like a full detailed um skincare routine not just the panoxyl and uh moisturizing your face i'm gonna do the panoxyl and then i'm gonna show y'all the good molecules um products that i use too for like brightening and um toning the skin and discoloration and all of that i'm gonna show y'all all that too because i think i was supposed to have been doing that and i haven't thought to do it um so yeah i'm gonna be including that tonight um since we've been outside um i don't want to do it like right now i like doing that like right before i go to bed or whatever so right now i'm gonna just get a cotton swab and i'm gonna get some alcohol and i'm gonna go all over my face that's what i do um on a day-to-day -day. besides obviously doing the um pan oxal and all of that just to make sure my face is like free of like, just extra germs and stuff i literally just get some alcohol and i get a cotton swab or two and i just go all over my face with the alcohol i do this for uh random pimples and stuff sometimes too but for the most part, I just like to make sure my face is clean. So I'm always going over my face with alcohol. I do the same thing in medicine. Like, yeah, you wash your face or whatever. Let me get this alcohol on there and make sure we disinfecting and sanitizing and getting up in the pores and stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna just do this, like I said, for now. And then once I get ready to lay down tonight, I'll be back and I'll show y'all um, a full nighttime skin. Routine. Y'all been seeing the progress from the first time I did a skincare video with y'all for now. But all I really use for the most part is the Panoxyl for just cleansing. And I don't put a lot of stuff on my face. I be telling y'all that. I use obviously the good molecules to help with the discoloration in those uh, few spots where I did have those pimples that I showed y'all in a couple of uh, vlogs ago. But other than that, I don't put nothing on my face. And y'all see the results. Like, come on now. I haven't had a breakout in, I want to say, over a month at this point. It's been some weeks. Like, I'm good. I don't have no active breakouts right now. Obviously, I have natural moles. These are literally just moles that are natural on my face. But I don't have any active breakouts. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not adding um, any products or anything. One thing that I have been trying, but not on my face. One thing that I have been trying is the, uh, what is it, glycolic acid. I've been trying that for underarms because I've seen on like TikTok and stuff that it helps to lighten like your underarms and stuff. So I've been testing it. I honestly have not done it every single day. And to be honest, they say it's pretty strong. So they don't even suggest that you use it every single day. More so like two to three times. So I skip maybe a day or two and then I'm going to use it again. Um, when I get ready to do this bath. So we'll see. I'm going to uh, keep on taking pictures as I use it. And then if it does like lighten up my underarm area and stuff like that, I'll give y'all a review. If I don't see no real um, progress in the next couple of weeks or whatever, I'll probably stop using it because why keep using it if it ain't working? So yeah, so enough about that. Let me go ahead and get this bath water ran. Be right back. I 
always taking out every time I drive with a nigga I just don't waste a day gone What am I missing? Seems like you ain't more from a sugar daddy or a drug dealer Take me out the club Alright y'all, so I'm in the tub The water is very hot It's basically boiling if you like me, then you like your water to cook you like a chicken up in there. You be in here about to sweat. But nah, I'm good. Like, I got used to it. I'm chilling. Um, I got my candles going. I got my bath products over here. Got some fresh towels. Got a brand new bar of soap. I'm going to go ahead and get my relaxation started. Um... I hope y'all didn't want to like see the whole process, but uh, yeah, I'm chilling. I'm about to relax, like I said, catch up on some vlogs, and then probably start working on the weekend vlog tomorrow. And then I'm hoping to get the next vlog up by probably Tuesday. Today is Sunday, so I'm thinking by Tuesday because the next one will literally be a weekend vlog. It'll include yesterday and today's events. And I'm going to go from there. I'm trying to see if there anything else I need to input, catch y'all up on or anything like that. I don't think so. I think anything that's going on is in the vlog that I uploaded today. Because it's a full weekly vlog. It's the longest vlog I've ever done. It's like 40 some minutes. So yeah, I'm going to get that going and... Let me tell y'all this. These razors are the truth. I don't know if you're familiar with the Flamingo brand, but these razors are the truth. I got these from Walmart. Um, I went to Walmart as part of a campaign and I bought it. And of course, I tried out the products and this and the third. So I got a bunch of razors. I got some wax strips and stuff like that. And their razors are bomb. Um, let me see how many blades on here. I want to say it's four or five. Let me see. One, two, three. So it's five, um, it's five blades and they cut really close. I have never cut myself um, shaving with these. They get a really, really close shave. So, cause at one point I was using uh, Chris's razors. I was stealing them cause I felt like the men's razors would get a better, smoother, closer shave. So I was using Chris's razors, but once I got them Flamingo ones, that's the only brand of razors that I use now. And I ain't getting no commission, no nothing off of that. That's just me telling y'all that's what's up or whatever. So, yeah, that's it. I already had told y'all about that Dove soap, that almond butter and mango butter. I'm not even using that soap today. I'm going to be using the Dove Antibacterial Exfoliating Bar. It's blue. It smells nice and fresh. That's why I'm using this. It smells very nice and fresh. I'll link that. Cause I know Amazon got that. Um, I'll link that for y'all. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. So I'm about to enjoy this bath and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Like I said, I'll check back in with y'all later to do a full nighttime skincare routine. But other than that, I'm about to lay, um, lay back, relax, I'm soak. Then I'm gonna, you know, do everything I need to do. And then I'm gonna be chilling for the night. So yeah. Back to my self-care. I hope y'all are having a good day, whatever day that you um, end up watching this. And yeah, you should definitely look into those ashwagandha um, capsules, pills, vitamins, whatever you want to call them, if you're able. Um, I did read that if you take any prescribed medication, you need to ask your doctor because from what I read, they don't mix well with like blood thinners, um, high blood pressure medicine, uh, high cholesterol medicine and stuff like that. So if you take any other type of medication, ask your doctor first. Okay. So yeah. And that's that. All right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. All right, y'all. So the relaxing self-care Sunday ashwagandha bath is over. I feel good. I feel really relaxed and calm. I don't know if that's just me because I'm always chill anyway, especially on Sunday, or it could be a combination of like the body wash and all of that and the uh, capsule that I took. Not sure. Either way, I feel good. And I'm about to chill, rub my body down with the body butter that I showed y'all, throw on me some pajamas, and figure out dinner. And I'll see y'all later.
All right, y'all, I'm back to do my full nighttime skincare routine with y'all. I'm gonna be using Panoxyl, that foamy like acne wash cleanser or whatever that I've been telling y'all about. And then I'm gonna show y'all all the good molecules products that I use. Again, none of this is sponsored, but it was gifted to me from the, I guess the PR department and Good Molecules, they reached out to me and they sent me a box. They asked me like what I personally deal with when it comes to skincare. They asked, you know, do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Do you deal with blemishes? So I pretty much told them that sometimes I deal with like dry skin. It's weird. Cause I think I have what they call combination skin. Sometimes it's dry in some spots. Sometimes it looks oily in some spots. It's very strange. But anyway, so I pretty much told them that and I told them I randomly deal with blemishes. So they sent me the brightening toner that they offer. I don't know if that's gonna focus, but anyway, the brightening toner. They sent me the discoloration correcting serum. And they sent me the overnight exfoliating treatment. And they sent me one more thing that I won't be using because it's not really for like a nighttime skincare routine. They sent me their um, silicone free priming moisturizer. And this is more so for like if I wanted to put a primer on before doing my makeup or let's just say I had uh, some blemishes on my face and I don't want them to get like overexposed to the sun and get darker um, while I'm out in the sun. I will put on this primer first and then I'll put my sunscreen on, you know what I'm saying? So I won't be using this because this is obviously for what I just told you. So first off, I get my good old faithful Panoxyl linked below in my Amazon storefront faithful for this because it works perfect. And like y'all know, and if you are new here, you don't know, but I deal with sensitive skin. So I don't put a whole lot of stuff on my face, but I do like to do a little extra before I go to bed. I don't do all this when I first wake up in the morning. I do this before I go to bed. So this is why I said it's a nighttime full skincare routine. So like I said, first I get my pan oxal, and y'all know I like to drench my face. So I'm gonna drench my face, be right back. Okay, as you can see, face is drenched and dripping in water. So again, I get my pan oxal. Let me take off my ring, all my get product all up in it. Okay, pan oxal, I squeeze me a good little amount. Like I told y'all, I probably use too much, but I'd rather use too much than not enough. So I get that. Go in circle of motions, get all up in there, in between the eyebrows and all that. And I know a lot of skincare products, like they will like burn those thinner layers of skin, like around your eyes and um, like around your mouth and stuff like that. I don't have that problem with Panoxyl. Like I told you, I do have sensitive skin. So if you deal with sensitive skin and you want to test it, you know, they always tell you to do a little patch of skin or like a little sample area or whatever so you don't go crazy and do a whole face without making sure that your skin can take it. So yep, I just go in circle of motions all over my face with that pen oxal. Yeah, I remember this one time, cause I've never dealt with acne, but I remember this one time in middle school, my skin was breaking out a little bit and I asked my mama, could I get some, what was it? I think it was some Neutrogena oil free acne wash. Y'all know they used to advertise heavy. So I'm like, let me get that. I didn't even have acne. I just had random like breakouts, pimples or whatever. When I tell y'all it burnt my face, I had a little mark going around my eye. It didn't look like I had a black eye, but it was definitely like up in there and I was looking a mess and I had to wait and let it like scab up over the next like, you know, a couple days, week or whatever and let it fall off, but that was my first and only experience using like an acne wash that did not react good on my face. And I've never used any Neutrogena products again. And that's not me talking down on Neutrogena. I'm just telling you my experience. And it was middle school, who knows? I might've used it too often. I might've used too much. I might've let it sit too long. I don't know, but I'm just telling y'all my experience with them. Okay, so. Y'all know I like to let the pan oxal sit for about five to 10 minutes. And since this is a nighttime full skincare routine, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be back in about five to 10 minutes. 
All right, I'm back. It's been about probably seven minutes or so. So now I'm gonna drench my face again and I'm gonna get all of the pan oxo off of my face. Give me a minute, be right back. All right, I'm back. And with the pan oxo, it tells you to like lightly pat your face to dry it, I'm assuming, so your face doesn't get irritated. So I just get my clean white uh, face towel and I just kind of pat my face dry all over. I don't want to irritate nothing. Do my little pets. Okay. All right. Leave this dry. Enough. Okay. So up next, just trying to make sure it's extra dry. Okay. So up next, I get the brightening toner from Good Molecules. And just in case you care, the Good Molecules products are cruelty free and they're all vegan. At least the products that I have, I'm pretty sure their whole line is cruelty and uh, vegan. Cruelty free and vegan. Okay, again, let me make sure I put exactly what it is. Okay, this is the brightening toner. Okay, brightening toner. Get you you know, one or two cotton swabs or, you know, little cotton pads or whatever. Open it up. And something else I like about the Good Molecules products, none of them have like a smell. If they do got a smell, I can't smell it. <laughs> so get that and then, you know, just dab it on there real good. You know, get it a little, I guess you could say, soaked. And I like it that it just dabs out like that because you're not wasting product. It literally drips out like a, a like a dripper or a dropper or whatever. So I soak the cotton balls, cotton pads, swabs, whatever, and I just kind of pat the toner over my face. And I could, I guess, put it on my hands, but I don't be putting all that product on my hands. But they advise you to do the kind of so I like to do this like two times. I don't know if that's over to you, but I drop some more on the cotton swabs till it feels, you know, a little damp. And I go over again. Again, this is the brightening toner. I just kind of go all over my face, dabbing it everywhere. Okay, and you're supposed to basically allow this to dry down as well before you put on the next product, which is the discoloration serum. Okay, put them to the side. Get a good air dry in there real quick. It's storming outside right now. Just out of nowhere. It's been raining for probably like 45 minutes. Thunder, lightning, all of that. Okay. Okay. So after that, let me see here. The discoloration serum. And it does have a little dropper in there. So I personally do not have a lot of discoloration. My area, I guess my problem area is that same little area that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Up in the middle of the eyebrows and like a little bit of the forehead from some previous bumps. And that's pretty much it. So I don't get too carried away with this, but you can see the product up in there. So I don't put too much, but I do make sure I get it in those problem areas. For sure. Like if I don't get it nowhere else, I'm gonna at least put it in those previous problem areas. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna put some on my cheeks. Just because I don't have time for my face to be uneven. So I'm gonna put it 
a little bit all over, but mainly up there in the forehead area. I'm gonna put it all over because I don't need, you know, one part of my face. And eat. Okay. So I do that. And I probably can use a cotton ball for this too, but for this, me personally, I use my fingers, my hands. I do wash my hands in between each product or whatever, just because I guess I'm OCD. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I go ahead and I just massage that in. And it glides on very smoothly. It feels like a really good like leave-in detangling conditioner. Like it has a lot of slip. So I rub that in all over very lightly. Go to that little problem area up there. I'm gonna spend extra time up there getting some real deal TLC. And let's go around. And pretty much let it kind of dissolve and I probably put too much because <laughs> last time I used it I didn't have this problem it wasn't still white so I probably put a little bit too much but it's all good because skincare girls say if you ain't looking like a glazed donut then what are you doing so I guess I'm glazed donut tonight okay but yeah, it glides on really smooth and it feels like a really light like lotion or moisturizer. I like the way it feels as I'm, I almost got some in my eye. I know that was gonna burn. Okay. So, that's rubbed in. And then, okay. I think I got it. Okay, after that's rolled well, then I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands real quick. And then we'll go in with the overnight exfoliating um, serum. Okay. So this is the overnight exfoliating my serum treatment. You can use this up to three times per week. So, you know. Go back over them same areas because I feel like we, you know, we want TLC all over the face. We want an even amount of skincare everywhere. So that's what we on. Okay. Going up there to the problem area. Squeeze that on out of there. Ooh, I'm not going to too much. Just like tripping. Okay, again, that's the overnight exfoliate treatment. And this one, it just says apply a few drops to clean skin. I think I'm gonna get a cotton ball to do that too. I don't have no product on my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna just get that cotton ball. I'm gonna just massage it. And of course, I did get a clean cotton ball. I did not use the other one. Clean cotton ball. And I'm gonna go over my face. Massage it in. Real good. Okay, then you get up here. Around my eyebrows, get that forehead. Where I was having issues in between those eyebrows. That random hair bump was. Okay, and this will complete my full nighttime skincare routine. And that's it. I don't do nothing else. I don't go in with no lotion. I don't do none of that extra stuff. In the morning time, let me put these tops on. In the morning time, when I wake up, I get the pan aqua and then I clean my face really good and I pat it to dry and I dip. That's all I do in the morning time. And then, like I said, the good molecule stuff is what I incorporate at nighttime. And I keep all of my boxes for all of uh, the products. Just because I like to keep it neat. I got the, obviously the box that they sent everything in. So, because I like to keep everything neat. I don't like the under, 
um, the sink area to get out cluttered and stuff because I had to reorganize it like two or three weeks ago and now it's back in a very nice and neat organized way so I'm going to leave it like that put all of these back and I guess I can show y'all the packaging I love how they uh, packaged that stuff but I love how they package up their products their branding and everything is like really cute it has a super like branded box it has a message inside it has pretty pink um, tissue paper and stuff i'm gonna show y'all real quick before i put everything up okay so in case you're somebody who's like super into packaging i'm dropping stuff all on chris side and you see okay so this is the box and of course it says good molecules on the inside this is the inside, super cute and colorful. And they let you know, okay. They let you know that they never test their products on animals. That's why I say it's vegan, cruelty free, and all of that. Okay. And then they say, see a difference in your skin, and it has a cute note on the back. The co-founder put that together, and then it also says that they're available at Ulta. Again, this was sent to me, so I did not go in Ulta. And then it has like care instructions on the back to let you know what you should use and in what order and all of that. Okay, and this is the box for the toner. This is the box for the discoloration correcting serum. This is the box for the uh, overnight exfoliating treatment. This is the priming moisturizer. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that stuff. I'm about to pack it up all neatly and put it back in my little skincare section underneath the sink. And I'm about to call it a night. See y'all probably tomorrow. Um, because I don't think I have anything else that I wanted to include. Y'all already know about my oral hygiene situation, what I do there. The next time I come back and talk to y'all, I'll probably be cleaning out my vanity with y'all. Not even necessarily cleaning, yeah, cleaning it out. Let me go ahead and say that because I got some lash packages and some stuff that I should have been through away. Just chunked in the drawer because I be moving fast. I need to clean out my vanity, Windex the mirror. I also need to clean my makeup brushes. I got um, one of those little brush cleaning things. I've been had that and I've used it, but I should have used it probably a couple weeks ago. My makeup brushes are in need. So I will definitely, I think, be coming back so y'all can clean up my uh, makeup brushes with me and just clean my vanity. I need to clean my shelves and stuff in my like office slash content area, but I don't think I'm gonna do that at the same time. I like to dedicate time to do certain things. So yeah, so I'm about to get ready to lay it down and I will talk to y'all tomorrow.